everyone and welcome to this video in this video we are going to be um, starting to learn about a regression model evaluation metric so in the previous few videos we looked at classification model evaluation metrics and now we're going to look at regression model evaluation metrics so let's actually write that down um, 4.3.2 regression model evaluation metric so um, we're going to be looking at the key metrics here if you'd like to look at more evaluation metrics what you can do is you can you can search up you can you can search up hang on classification metrics scikit learn and there you find this thing that says metrics and scoring quantifying the quality of dot 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 you click on that and there it has all the metrics so i'm going to copy the link for it uh and then i'm going to come back to here okay so um what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to reference the link here. So I'm going to say model evaluation metrics documentation. So this is just like a reference point. You don't need it, but I think it would be quite helpful if you wanted to look for more. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually list down all the uh it, the key evaluation metrics we're going to be focusing on through uh, a few videos um so the first one which we're going to be learning today is called r squared um and uh oh it's pronounced it's pronounced r squared obviously um and it can also be called coefficient of determination now you you may have heard this before if you've been examining your models um, or if you've seen some of my videos um, and then number two we have mean absolute error so we've come across this one before it can also be MAE as for short. We've done this one before, but I think it'd be good to do it again. And then we've also got mean, we've got mean squared error as well. And guess what? That also stands for MSE. Um, so uh, just to notify ourselves, we're gonna put another heading here called R squared. Um, because that is what we're going to be doing today. Okay, so um, so basically, first we need to create a regression model so that we can look at these, look at R squared because that's a regression model evaluation metric. So we're gonna go from sklearn.ensemble. You could even pause the video and do this yourself uh, if you already know how to do it, hopefully. Um, because we've done this a lot of times so random forest regressor that's the one we're going to be using so we're going to create a random seed np.random.seed uh, 42 and then x is equal to boston dear so that's our data that we're going to use dot drop um, and we're going to drop target axis is equal to one um hang on uh, i need to take away the squared brackets uh otherwise that wouldn't make sense at all uh y is equal to boston boston dia and then we simply just index the target column um and then we're going to create x train x test y train 
and y test is equal to train test split. Uh, we're going to pass in x and y and the test size, which is equal to 0 0.2. Oh my gosh. Uh, and we also, what we need to also do is, what we need to also do is we need to make sure this Y is lowercase. Um, and once we've done that, what we're going to do is we're going to create the model and fit it. So we can do this all in one line. So in one line, we're gonna go uh, model is equal to random forest regressor brackets. Um, and then we can just go dot fit uh, and it would have fit for us. Um, hang on. Oh yeah, so uh, in dot fit, we need to put in X train and Y train as well. Don't forget that. So now our model is ready to go. We can examine our um, R squared. So if we do model dot score, X test and Y test, then uh, we obviously get quite a good score. If we press shift tab here, it says return the coefficient of determination, R squared, of the prediction. So basically this metric is already sort of built into the model. Um, that's the, what it's, it's the scoring parameter. Okay. So, um, here the coefficient of determination or R squared is basically the scoring parameter of our model. And that is how our model, that is, that will be how our model scores. So the, uh, our model uses R squared to score, um, to return a score. So um, that's why it's called a scoring parameter. So it's used R squared to get this result over here. So if we want to look, if we want to look at R squared ourselves, um, without scoring, we can import it from sklearn or scikit-learn. So from sklearn.metrics, this is where you can get all your evaluation metrics from. Import r2 score. Okay. So uh, what we're going to do is um, we're going to do this. So the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to fill an array with y test with the y test mean okay so we're gonna fill a whole array with that so i'm gonna go y test mean is equal to np dot full we get uh we want it to be the length of y test so we're basically creating a, si a similar array to a normal y test except it's filled with the mean so y test dot mean Okay, so that is our array. Um, if we check out y test dot mean first, uh, that is our mean. Um, and if we just again test out, uh, find out y test mean, the array we just created, that is basically what it is filled with. So let's use the R2 score method. So R2 r2 score um y test and y test um mean okay so that is giving us zero zero so why don't we actually find out what the coefficient of determination actually is okay so i'm just gonna search up coefficient of determination okay so it's on wikipedia uh you can check it out so the co the coefficient of determination denoted r squared hang on let me 
let me just okay so the coefficient of determination denoted r squared or r squared and pronounced r squared is the proportion of the variance in the dependent variable that is predicted that is predictable from the independent variables okay that is actually quite a mouthful over there so if you don't understand what that means a good way to make sure you do understand it is to work out a meaning for yourself that you understand only and or just an understandable meaning and uh, write it down okay so if you uh, decipher what it means by yourself it will increase your chances of remembering what it means okay so um this is my meaning that i uh found out if you couldn't decipher it it was just simply too hard for you then it doesn't ma matter you can just copy this down or put it in your own words so what r squared does um so basically what it does is it compares your models predictions to the mean of the target so the mean of the target that will be our y test um, so values can range from negative infinity so that can go below zero so that would be that would mean a very poor model um, and uh, and it can also go to complete one. Okay, so for example, if all your model does, uh, so if all your model does is basically just predict the mean of the targets. So if that's all it does, then it's r squared value would be zero so that is basically literally what we got down here um that's what we got down here we compared it to the mean and we got exactly zero okay um and and if your model perfectly predicts a range of numbers so basically um, if it just perfectly predicts all the numbers correctly then it's it's r squared hang on it's r squared value would be obviously uh, one right okay so that is what I found out uh, I deciphered from that um so yeah so we got zero here because our model predicted the mean of the of of y test so that's why it got zero but if we just go r2 score and then we do y test y test so it's just uh, predicting it to itself um it says 1.0 or 1 because all of the values are perfectly predicted okay so that is all i wanted to teach you today on one of our regression model evaluation metrics um so this is basically what r squared is in the next video we're going to be looking at mean absolute error we're going to examine it a bit more um, and then after that we're going to move on to mean squared error okay so um what we're going to do is we're going to put an end to this video there if you like this video then please like and subscribe that would really help um if you have any doubts obviously please comment them in the comment section below and yeah i guess that's the end of this video bye